what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel uh, if you haven't been here before my name is Brandon uh, today is an exciting day we're finally getting out for the first night ice camping super excited we're out on Lake Diefenbaker uh, we were able to hook up with Ryland Spencer he's got a beautiful ice castle out here on the lake uh, so we're gonna be fishing in luxury uh, so definitely stay tuned I'll give you a little tour um, and get things set up uh, my name is Ryland I am the owner and operator of Outdoor Seasons supply and apparel this is our brand new Grey Wolf um, ice house. It is a eight feet wide, 17 feet long. It's got three beds, sleeps four people, eight holes to fish out of. This is luxury fishing at its finest. All right, look at this thing. This is unbelievable. We keep uh, everything fully loaded in here. Really all you need to do when you show up is bring your fishing gear, uh, you know, your rods, tackle, some extra bait if you want, your tip-ups, uh, sleeping gear, and, and some slippers to be extra comfy, so. There you go. I had to get mine on yet. I don't have them on, but I brought them. All right, we're going to clean up the holes here a little bit and uh, try to get everything nice and dry so we can throw the slippers on, and uh, yeah, we're going to drop a line here as soon as possible. Try to get on some burbs. You get the small cot. <laughs> Get out of here. You're the smallest guy here. <laughs> I'm the only guy here. Pull a couple hats for the boys. Yeah, nice. Hey. Great hospitality. Yeah. This is awesome. Big rig laying there. So much storage in here. This is not super mobile, but. You put a couple more to it. This is such a cool thing. People get to actually play games, fish, cook, and have a chance of something that's actually like really big. Me, I'm a deep sleeper. So this is, uh, this is make or break here. Boom. Clutch. Ooh, ooh, big mark. Big mark. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little more organized and uh, we got some lines in the water. Had a couple marks come through already, so that's super exciting. Hopefully we can get on some burbit. It's dark out as you can see. Um, yeah, uh, we're gonna be working some glow lures, hopefully. All right, guys, we are finally set up. It's starting to dry up. We're gonna throw the furnace on uh, a little bit higher here. Brian's already marked some fish. Um, over there on the on the that end. Um, we're thinking they're burbot. Uh, fingers crossed that uh, we're gonna be able to catch some tonight. All right, so a big thing too for uh, ice fishing is scent. Uh, in the cold water, scent is really um, exaggerated. So, um, so what I like to use, I'll use like a scent. Uh, this is Billy Rub. Small company from the States. There's all kinds of different scents you can get out there. Um, but yeah, actually burbot have uh, kind of senses on the outside that are taste. They can actually taste a bait without actually having it in their mouth. So Scent is a super, super big part of burbot fishing. So, a lure here, um, which honestly I see burbot eat a lot. Uh, so what I did is I dipped my hook in that Billy Rub scent, uh, and then tipped it with a big uh, minnow head here. So um, that looks like something that a, a burbot would eat. Uh, it's big and chunky. Most of the time, those burbot they'll come in uh, if you've got a lot of dust and debris from pounding bottom, and they're not really going to be able to see a whole lot. But what they'll do is. Um, they'll sense this and uh, taste what it is so um, and consume it in that in that dust there so oh, look at that big mark way up there That broke my line. Look at that. Where is that line? Didn't even think nothing in there. I put it back down. Boom. There's a fish right there. Wow. That's a nice good one too. So I just stepped out and I get a text message from Big Brad and, and he says, I just broke off. Super finicky bite. We've had lots of marks. And finally, 
a fish decided to bite twice. Uh, I didn't want to talk about it. Yeah, he doesn't want to talk about it. But anyway, so that was our first bite of the evening. It's been fairly slow. Just smoking. Absolute smoke. I think it's too shovel. First fish of the night. when it broke off your hook no way look yeah. at that that's the one that's the oh my god <laughs> oh my god what are the odds of that this fish brandon broke off on my rod while i stepped out look at that <laughs> look at oh my god this fish has just been lingering then for like the last 25 minutes okay, well, oh i'm glad we got our hook back here wow that is actually unreal okay 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 Relax, relax. Okay, nice one. Look at this burbot. Oh my god. Honestly, it might be. Uh, 27 and a half. Not quite, a Saskatchewan Master Angler. This 30 inches. So we're gonna get this fish back. You later. Whew. It worked, friend. That freaking hit me out of nowhere. That is wild, dude. That is unreal. We just caught our first fish of the night, first burbot. Uh, crazy, crazy scenario. It had the other PK lure that Brandon broke off while I was outside. And that is just like, what are the odds? Crazy. That fish is obviously lingering around and uh, was ready to eat. So, uh, super cool. First fish of the night. Let's go. Maybe some jumping jacks or something. <laughs> Cooking up a little sops for me or what? Want some peanut butter? Oh, oh come on. <laughs> I'm allergic to peanut butter. <laughs> Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Oh, Maybe we have them. I didn't come this late deep to catch nothing. Oh, yeah? What are you going to catch? I want to catch a burb. A what? A burb. A what? A big old burb. Oh, yeah. See Logan's story? 30 inch, 34 inch burb. Big burb. One hour ago. We I mean, have fish coming through, man. 34 inches, so that's four inches over the master angler for burb. You got a master <laughs> angler burb. <laughs> Throw some bells up on the on the oh, yes, rods yes. here. They're finicky, man. They came up. Yeah. They came up like really nice. And all of a sudden, just comes up and messes it off. You would think. Wait for the bell to go back. See for the bottom. All right, it's uh, just after midnight and uh, we've only had that one fish that we landed. Uh, we've had lots of marks come in, but it's it's been pretty slow. We're making up our beds here and uh, we're gonna get a little cozy and hopefully we'll see where we're putting bells on all of our, on all of our rod. Uh, if we can fall asleep here, maybe we'll be woken up by some bells, so we'll see. Hey. 
What is going on everybody? Good morning. Uh, yeah, last night was pretty inactive. We had one bill. Uh, I had, it was very, very slight. Uh, but it woke me up and I went to go set the hook and there was nothing there. So I don't know if it was just a fish uh, bumping it or if he just dropped it or what, but um, only one bell and uh, gather that pretty quiet. So I'm probably gonna make some breakfast and we might head out and try to do some hole hopping and uh, search the area a little bit. We didn't really get the, the chance to do that by the time we got set up and comfortable in here last night, so. It was super slow last night. Boy, our big Brandon. <laughs> this is the healthy uh, version of a uh, KD. Uh, get some veggies in there. Egg whites, peppers, mushies. Yeah, you put one egg in the egg whites. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Does it though? I think so, personally. You don't diss it. <laughs> Things came up so fast. Yep. <laughs> dead stick, baby, dead stick. Nice. How is this gonna be? This ain't feeling like a perch. Just put on that little little jig too. Burb, big burb. Just sat it right on the bottom. Come here. Oh, money. Look at that. Just a small little jig there. Did the trick. Wow. Ate that right off the bottom. Beautiful big back. Nice and thick. We uh, switched over from spoons. Little tungsten tipped with a minnow head and uh, just laid it right on bottom. And this thing just sucked it right up. Another beautiful burb. That's what we came out here for. Unreal. That is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, just staying out here in this ice castle. This is an unbelievable uh, shack facility. So if you have the opportunity to do so, uh, give Rylan a call or rent this puppy out. Uh, it's out on Diefenbaker Lake. It's a fantastic uh, body of water here in Saskatchewan. Um, but yeah, I mean, really, the experience on its own staying in the ice castle, our, our goal was burbot, so we were able to uh, at least... Um, catch two target species. We did put the camera down. We were marking a ton of fish and we found out those are perch. So um, we, we wanted to stick to the burbot. So uh, at least we were able to put two on the ice. Experience on its own, fantastic. Thank you, Ryland. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>